So when you split, you have the um, first, I can't use first node because it's already in global uh, scope. So I will just use, or I can do node 1 and node 2. Yes. So it's uh, uh, remember it's at the index of the node. So we will we'll set node one to f parent zero. Okay. Here I want to change that and keep zero based, just for the sake of uh, consistency. All right. One. Here we have everything we need to split. We already, in this function, we, ha we have all the information we need to split the polygon. It would be slightly... We, we, sh we would have to add one more information if we were to use more than one polygon. We would have to have a selected boolean on the polygon and we will have to pick the polygon here to uh, work on it. But l right now, uh, it will be complicated enough, so we'll keep simple. We have node 1 and node uh, 0 and node 1, and we want to get their position because we will need them to figure out how to split the polygon. Would we? Yes, we will. Let me explain now uh, the main. Um, thing we want to, uh, to achieve here. We have a polygon. Let's say I um, take a blue color and let's say I do a split like oh, like mm, like that. Let's say we do a split like that. What will be the polygon I will have to create? First, I will have to delete this polygon. I could keep it for one of the child, of the, but for now it's uh, way simpler to do it like that. So I will have to delete this main polygon and recreate from scratch, almost, this polygon here, uh, this polygon here, and Oh, I should use a really unsteady. I should. Uh, I want to draw this polygon here and this polygon here. All right. Which is not so simple. We have, in short, to create two lists of vertices. You will remember, to create a polygon, I need a list of vertices and I need a proper ordered list of vertices. In short, I need to have, let's say, 0, 1, uh, doesn't show up, uh, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Currently, that's how these uh, vertices are indexed. I want to create a new polygon with the index for the polygon A, I want the index, the, ver the position 0, the position oh, and la and here I noticed I'm missing something. So I will control Z. Oh, I can't control Z more than that. Okay, so get back here. Here, it's the current way of uh, of indexing my uh, my nodes more than my vertices my nodes i have this and i want to split like that so i want to create a polygon which will look as far as he, he it's a vertex uh, list which will get the vertex 0 following followed by the vertex one, then the vertex all the way here, six, then the vertex eight. Node is not a vertex, it's it's a node, 
So let's rephrase it. I want the node one, uh, zero, the position of the node 0, 1, 6, and 8 to be the new vertex list of polygon A. And for polygon B, I want 1, 2, 4, and 6. You can notice two things here. <coughs> I'm keeping the order, more or less, of the vertices of the parent polygon, parent polygon just uh, kind of grouping them together. I'm, gr and I'm only grouping the uh, how should I say that? the nodes that will be translated in two vertices. I want I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. This one. So what we can uh, conclude here uh, with this uh, little drawing, I want. In uh, everything you see here, 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 and here, all the vertices, all the nodes that are even, I want all of them. 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And I just want midpoints when they are in the splitting. That's pretty... I want that. And I, I want to be able to group them. That's two things I have to do together. How will we group vertices, vertices together? Uh, let's see. So this one and this one will be grouped here. This one and this one will be grouped here. And this one and this one will be on both, on both uh, groups. Okay, let's simplify and get uh, written to the rules we want. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. First, first rule, the uh, nodes, um, the nodes who are in, uh, involved in the, sp in the splitting, basically the node we selected, selected node, I want them to for A and B polygon. I want them for both. And for the rest, I just want vertices only, vertex nodes. And I want to figure out where they are according to this, this splitting line. Here, here, or here and here. That's where the the hard part is. How will we achieve that kind of, uh, of calculation? First, you need to know about uh, what this formula means. Y equal aim x plus b. That's math. That's basically math. Uh, it's uh, in France we learn that around uh, 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 not everyone learned that I think it's uh, already a kind of specialization on uh, scientific uh, things but we learn that about uh, 15 to 18 year old 18 year old 15 to 18 uh, maybe uh, 14 we already know about that basically it's how it's an equation that represent a line on um, <coughs> on a two D plane. I will uh, draw my uh, my coordinates as uh, like that, as it is already on the on construct. You may know that the ori ah, the origin the origin is here on construct, and the coordinates goes that way. So when you draw a line, when you have this line uh, here, there are a, a rule go governing each point of the line that follows a formula which looks like that, mx plus b. That's just uh, what it is. Which means if I pick 
the, the point here ah. if I pick the point here I know when I know the formula for this line I know that if I take the x here and I apply the x here if I know this value, this value, and know this value here for all the points on the line the one who is pretty obvious is one equation that is really really obvious I really have issue with this software the one which is really obvious is this one Okay, this one basically its equation is y equal x this uh, this value equals x here equal y here and for all the points here it's the same thing the coordinates is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 25, etc. It's all these points here are on this line. That's, uh, you can be sure. So, to build, uh, to find, uh, the equation of such a, uh, of any line, you just have to know um, two points of the line. If you know two points of the line, you are able to figure out the line equation. So let's say we have. I won't go too far with that. It's uh, let's say we have this line. This line goes to two and two, one, two, three, three. I know these two points. To have the line, I just the formula is m will be equal to the difference in y. Uh, you don't uh, you don't care in which order because uh, you will see. And uh, on, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I just have to. If it's like that, it's uh, it's uh, something like zero five divided. By, yeah, it's y divided divided by x. And you do you just have to put the uh, the same order uh, on top and bottom, and if. Uh, you change here and change here. It won't uh, change the result since you ha will have negative on negative. It will uh, uh, kind of um, annulate each other. So yeah, the first formula is m equals uh, the y the y position of the first and the y position minus the y position of the second divided by the x position of the first. Uh, minus the exposition of the of the second, and basically it's this uh, length divided by this other length. It's as uh, simple I, uh, as that. And you have how much the line increase in uh, in angle uh, according to uh, how much it goes in x. How much it's yeah basically it's how much it goes in y by how much it goes in in, uh, in x. The more it goes faster, the more the value gets uh, bigger. Here it's maybe two uh, x plus b. Here it can be two x plus b. Here it can be three x plus b, etc. In, until infinite. And here it's. Uh, it tends to zero the more you, you you are flat and the B is even simpler the B in this line one two three one two the B is just this value 
B will be so here we'll have uh, two on three. We we'll write this one two on three x plus two. It's it's the equation of this line. This part means if you uh, advance uh, from one from here to here, here you will uh, go on y. Oh, let me think. I think it's minus. Uh, we go on y to uh, minus two on three, and here uh, if x equals zero y equal to that's what means the b part anyway if you didn't uh, understand this part that's not really a problem in math uh, we are not doing math we are doing games and you, the, on, the only thing you have to uh, worry about is how the formula evolve uh, with the values and uh, or even you just have to worry uh, about uh, what formula to use in the end even if you don't, uh, that's uh, more or less what I did with the, um, uh, did I uh, close uh, it? Uh, with the, um, the 3D, um, the 3D thing I did here. Uh, seriously, I don't really understand what I did uh, as far as the uh, formula goes. They are super complicated and ball matrix math. Uh, I, I know a little bit about it, but I didn't go too far. And I just applied the formula. I really don't understand them uh, fully, and it's not really a problem. You just need to know which formula to use and when. At first, if you want to go really further and uh, really do tricky things, you have to understand them. But for now, we just have to first we have to find the equation of this bloody uh, cutting line. Find the line equation. And what will we use that for? If we have the line equation, it's really super basic to find which points are over the line and which points are under the line. We just have to take the x value of each of these points. Remember, x, y, and this is the full line we'll... Uh, the equation we will find will be that one. You just have to take the x of each of the vertex you want to uh, to to get. Let's say x zero and x uh, zero one two three four x four, and you just have to apply them to the formula of the of the the line. And what will you get? You will get this point here and this point here. Mm. Purple. And what good it would be to you, once you have this point and this point, and what it's called their projection on the line, you will know whether or not this, the y of this point is greater or lower than the y of this point. If the y is lower, which means it's here, it means it's over the line. If the y is greater, it means it's under the line. And just by comparing each vertices over the projection on the line, you will basically have your repartition, your grouping. And this one, you won't even have to check them. They will go on both sides. So that's the that's as simple as that. It's uh, wait, yeah. It's not simple, <laughs> but it's not uh, sh overwhelming. We'll just, uh, just for the sake of uh, completeness, I will write this equation here, and I will name M is in, in fact name the slope, and B is the y-intercept. That's what they are called in this uh, situ in this situation.